just got my drink. Oh, just getting it in me as quick as possible. That was a doozy. We are right on schedule, everyone. I do have an event to go to at 9.30, so I gotta be expeditious this morning, get this run done. It's a, it's a doozy. This is not the hardest run of the training block, but this is a key, very, very critical run uh, for getting the legs going, is the bottom line. I'm not gonna go into crazy oxygen debt today, but uh, it's time to make it hurt a little bit. We are, we are, I can't believe it, we are four weeks to go until Amsterdam. Four weeks as of today, so it's uh, no time to mess around. I'm going to, I'm, where I'm driving to now is actually not the starting line. I'm going to drive to halfway on this dirt course, so today is going to be 15 miles. Seven and a half out, seven and a half back, all on dirt. Um, halfway through the course, I'm going to plant a water bottle. That's why I uh, got the bottles ready yesterday. So I'm going to plant a water bottle that I will be able to grab halfway and then ha halfway out and then halfway back so what would that be about three and a half miles and three and a half and then uh, no three and a half and then 13 and a half uh in order to keep the uh keep everything going internally here Okay, I'm ready, and I know there's a little uh, concern out there about me being ready for a fast road marathon, and I get it, you know, all the mountain running I do, I do think it's setting me up for good leg strength and good breathing, but I get it, like I need to get the turnover going, absolutely. So that is the goal today, is to get it going. So you're gonna see on my, when I get back, and by the way, I'm, I'm gonna carry the GoPro to the starting line once again, but I can't film uh, the run because I'm not going to carry it with me because we're going at a faster clip But I think you'll see like okay 15 miles this kind of pace at at elevation. We're at 5,280 feet above sea level So I've heard that from Denver down to sea level You can basically subtract about 8 to 10 seconds off of your average mile time um, Just because you're you're in thinner air up here uh, And of course Amsterdam is at sea level all right, nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Uh, groove it, smooth, don't fight it. Uh, get, your, get your rhythm going and just lock into that pace. And that's my goal today, just lock it in. Lock it in and just groove it out. I'm really grateful that it's not hot out right now. It's 7.30 in the morning, so we're nice and cool. And let's do this, all right? Let's do this. All right, here we go, everyone.
And one, one last point before we get going. Can't, I'm not gonna run in fear, meaning I don't know where my fitness is. Like, I haven't done a, a, a flat race in a long, long time. So again, just going by feel, being comfortable. Uh, wh whether that's slower than last week, I don't think it will be. Whether it's faster than last week, uh, because I don't wanna cut myself short, all right? So let's rock and roll. Oh man, we've been working, baby. On the cool down, swallowed a bug at about mile 13. That was interesting, but we made it through. You better believe it. <coughs> I gotta go get something to drink, get this bug out. <coughs> 15 miles in the books. What I titled, uh, well, I'll just tell you at the car. All right, oh man, everybody. All right, no messing around. No messing around with recovery. Got my drink. Oh, just getting it in me as quick as possible. That was a doozy. That was a doozy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shake, shake, shake Sonora. Shake it all the time. All right, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I got to zip off to an event. I'll get you the stats. I'll get you the stats for the run back at the, uh, back at the house. Electrolytes. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, back in the studio. New Balance Ve Beacon. Beacon. Beacon V2s. These were my shoes from yesterday. Six miles yesterday. 10K. 920 a mile. 920 a mile. Okay, remember that number real quick. And I'm going to set these down here. Uh, put the Nike Zoom Fly Fly Knits right up here from today's run. And before we dive in, I just want to say... I get the privilege of coming before you guys every single day and sharing and talking about my training here on YouTube. It's amazing. And I thank you for coming back and listening to me as often as you do. Uh, but how I like, love to approach YouTube is that it's not just about me, all right? Even though, yes, I'm talking, I'm editing, I'm publishing, uh, it's the question of the day, which is, I'm going to say right now, how was your race this weekend or how was your long run? And the reason I say that, that, the reason that's the question of the day is because I get to talk so much about my training. I'm going to talk to you about my tempo run here in a minute, uh, but I, I don't want it to be just about me. I want it to be about us and I want to hear about your victories, your highs and your lows. Okay. So in your, in the question of the day, in your answer, don't hesitate to share, like maybe you had a bad race or maybe your long run didn't work out like you had planned. So that is why I asked the question of the day. It's not just about me, it's about us working together to achieve our goals. So that's the question of the day for you. And yes, thank you for listening to what I'm about to share about my run today. 15 miles, 24 kilometers, 533 a mile basically, or 325 per kilometers in per kilometer in the Nike. Zoom Fly, Fly Knit, a throwback shoe to 2018. And uh, this was a big week of training. So how did the run actually play out? The first two miles, my legs were pretty stiff. Not tight, well, yeah, a little tired, but they just were a little tight, I think is the right word to share. Like I just was not as loose as, as I had hoped to be. But by about mile three, I was feeling a little more loosey-goosey. You know how I like to use that uh, terminology. So I felt like my legs opened up after mile three. And then I just hit a rhythm. I hit a rhythm and I kept cranking and cranking and cranking. Now, I did want to close a little stronger than I did the last three miles. I held, I, I did drop the pace, but I actually wanted to drop the pace a little bit more. And this is a little strategy that I use in my training. Maybe a little tip of the day it is in a long run or in a tempo run or whatever the case may be, especially if you're training for anything past 10K, I like to close my long runs strong maybe not fast like a ton faster but i basically how do i rephrase that i want to be in charge of my body 
the last in a marathon, the last three miles. In a half marathon, let's call it the last mile and a half to two miles. In the last, in a 10K, we'll call it the last, um, the last like mile. And in a 5K, the last half mile. So I like to be in charge, meaning I'm so mentally strong that I am telling my legs to go faster and pump my arms harder. So I'm in charge. That is my goal for Amsterdam. The last three miles, so mile 23, boom. I'm in charge. I'm gonna finish this race strong. So I was practicing that today. I did go faster the last three miles, I do believe. I, I was basically like right at 5.30 pace, maybe a little below uh, the last three miles. So I felt good about it, but I wanted to go a little stronger there. So overall, I'm very happy with the effort with four weeks to go, as I already mentioned at the beginning of the vlog. And, uh, but I do have the US Mountain Championships next Sunday. Uh, but my ultimate goal is Amsterdam. So this week I'm gonna freshen up. I'm not gonna taper. I'm gonna freshen up Friday and Saturday and then the US Mountain Championships are on Sunday in New Hampshire. Um, so you're gonna see some pretty solid mile, mileage volume at the beginning of this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday to a certain extent uh, because I'm not done training. Uh, four weeks to go, we still have a little work to do uh, before the taper begins for Amsterdam. And we're gonna go with tempo for the keyword. Already asked the question of the day. Again, it's about us down in the comments, about us, all right? You get your, I have a platform here on YouTube talking to you every single day. You have a platform as well. And oh my goodness, here it is, challenge. If you can go give some kudos, some thumbs up, maybe some, type out some encouraging words to everyone down in the comments in addition to your, if you didn't race today, maybe that could be your, or this weekend, maybe that could be your comment. Just go encourage everyone that's working hard out there, chasing down their PRs, chasing down their goals. It's all good. All right, everyone, this is, Man, four, oh, four weeks, four weeks, four weeks. I'm very excited about that number. All right, everyone, uh, we'll throw it back to the last tempo run from a week ago. You can go watch that vlog if you're interested. And uh, we'll also toss it back to another threshold run that I, or sorry, a threshold run from the previous training block getting ready for Cleveland. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.